Once, the term neurosis described what we now understand as depression or anxiety disorder. Today, when people say neurosis, they often mean anxiety disorder. This condition arises when a person experiences excessive and persistent fear or worry, significantly disrupting daily life. It manifests as uncontrollable concern over various everyday aspects, health, finances, relationships, accompanied by irritability, muscle tension, restlessness, fatigue. The essence of anxiety lies in an overactive emotional response, chiefly involving the amygdala. This part of the brain, tasked with managing fear, can become overly sensitive, reacting to non-threatening situations as if they were dangers. Imagine a car alarm that sounds at the slightest touch, even a leaf's caress. Instead of safeguarding, it becomes a source of constant, unwarranted noise. Anxiety is akin to carrying an invisible, heavy burden that drains energy, complicates tasks, and leaves you feeling overwhelmed. The role of neurotransmitters in anxiety is pivotal. A deficiency in GABA, which calms, heightens anxiety. Elevated levels of noradrenaline stoke fear, while insufficient serotonin exacerbates anxiety. Adjusting these neurotransmitters is key to treating the condition. Panic attacks, characterized by sudden, intense fear, represent a misfiring in the brain's fear center, leading to a hormonal surge and a cascade of symptoms akin to a heart attack. Genetics and traumatic experiences often underlie anxiety disorders, affecting approximately 4% of the global population. It's more prevalent among women and typically emerges in younger individuals, though it can occur at any age. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, is the foremost treatment based on the interconnection of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Altering thoughts can change behaviors and feelings, akin to weeding a garden of negative thoughts to foster positive growth. For musicians fearing mistakes during performance, the shift from fearing judgment to recognizing minor errors as part of live shows exemplifies CBT's approach. Gradual exposure to larger audiences can also help. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, like escitalopram and sertraline are safe, effective treatments, with effectiveness paralleling that of CBT. While natural remedies lack strong evidence, regular walking and mindfulness breathing offer significant benefits, engaging the calming parasympathetic nervous system through controlled breathing techniques. This understanding of anxiety, its impact, and treatment options highlights the importance of recognizing and addressing our internal alarm systems, fostering a healthier, more balanced emotional state.